Good morning, students of class nine. You are welcome back to the E classes now. Let us continue our lesson in English. We have uh, finished uh, the previous poem, the wind, and uh, provide you the vocabulary as well as uh, the question answer. Now today we will do the rain on the roof. Class nine English poem. We are doing the next poem, rain on the roof. So. Today's date is 18th of May 2021. Now listen carefully. We'll learn about this poem. What the writer wants us to learn. The central idea of the poem. So it is written by Coates Kinney. So the author or the poet. His name is uh, Coates Kinney. And what he wants us, what is the central idea of the poem? There are three points over here. The central main, it's a very short poem. Number one, the poem, Rain on the Roof, exhibits. Exhibits means shows. The rain on the roof shows that the rain brings the poet maximum happiness. Naturally, when it rains, Everybody feels sleepy. They like to lie down on the bed and think about various uh, memories, about the various memories of the past. Similarly, the writer also, the poet also, he, he gets or uh, he feels maximum happiness when it rains. So it shows that the rain brings the poet maximum happiness. Number two, when he is lost in dream, the poet lies down in an attic. Attic means the room right under the roof. The room which is right under the roof is called an attic. He lies down in the attic on the bed and he remembers. He, will, he listens to the sound of the rain on the corrugated tin roof. And he hears the Peter patter sound of the rain. And when he is lost in the dream, and so many fancies, fancies means thoughts, imaginations, and ideas, these are called fancies. So many thoughts, they start revolving around in his mind, in his head. So many fancies go on revolving in his mind. He starts thinking about the past, what he used to do during the rain. When he was a small boy, he used to play out in the rain. He used to make paper boats and uh, sail those boats on the water. He used to run around in the puddle of water. Mother used to shout at him not to get wet. And so many dreamy fancies, dreamy thoughts. He starts recollecting, remembering of the past. He loves the peter patter of the soft rain. He, love, he loves the sound of the rain while on the bed, bed in a cottage under the roof that is in the attic. He loves the sound of the rain and the rain brings him, brings back a lot of memories to him. He starts thinking about the past. The memories come one after another. Unending memories. One after another. There was no end. So now here that is the three points of the central idea of the poem. Now we'll talk about the theme of the poem. What is the main theme of the poem? So now here there are all together four points again. The presented poem, presented means given, the poem which is in your book. The presented poem, Rain of the Roof, reveal, reveal means expose or show, reveal the healing power of nature. Healing power means heal, heal means to get cured. It brings memories and you feel very happy. When you are sad, you, you lie down on the bed, and you think about the past and bring back memories and you feel quite happy. So, 
healing power of the nature's rain, especially when it is heard from a cozy, cozy means soft, luxurious, soft bed in a lovely cottage, in a, co in a lovely cottage. Cottage means a small wooden house and that too right under the roof in an attic. The writer was sleeping on the bed, he was lying on the bed and that too right under the roof, that, is, that room is called a, an attic and he listens to the sound of the rain and the sound of the rain brings back lot of memories one after another and he feels very happy. That's why the rain is a natural healing power. Rain has got the natural healing power. That's why the poet explains us. So the rain on the roof reveal or expose the healing power of nature's rain, especially when you lie down on a bed in a cottage, a small wooden house. Number two, the first stanza, stanza means the first four lines or six lines, the first stanza tells that, what you will find in the first stanza, it tells that it is pleasant to lie, pleasant means feel very nice, it is pleasant to lie down on the bed in a cottage and listen to the sound of the rain. So the first stanza tells us that it is very pleasant and nice, you feel very nice. You feel like lying down on the bed, you do not feel like going out. So it is pleasant to listen to the sound of the rain in the first stanza. And in the second stanza, the poet tells us the sound of the rain brings back dreamy fancies, dreamy thoughts, lot of thoughts, lot of memories of the past with bright hues, bright hues means bright colors. The thoughts are like flowers and one after another the thoughts or the memories come one after another and they join together and form a kind of garland. A garland is made up of many flowers. And similarly, the thoughts are like flowers. They come one after another. And they are woofed in the thread of air. So, in the second stanza, the sound of the rain brings back dreamy fancies or dreamy thoughts or the memories of the past with bright colors as if that was happening now. So those recollections, those memories, writer began to think and remember as if those things are not of the past. In the third stanza, while thinking and uh, recollecting about the past memories, in between he thinks about the mother. In the third stanza, the loving memory of his mother also comes. Now his mother is no more. Now the poet has grown old and he has no mother. His mother is no more. So that rain also brings back the memories, sweet memories of her, his mother. Memory of his loving mother is steered. Steered means move around in his head he starts thinking about his mother how his mother used to shout not to get wet in the rain how he used to move around and run around in the rain and mother used to call him from the window from the door and mother used to provide him hot food during the cold and rainy day so these memories, loving sweet memories of his mother steered more before him in his eyes as if his mother is there. So he is lost in those memories. Before him in all her gentle loveliness, he could see his mother's face very clearly in his thought while he was remembering, while he was thinking, lost in his thoughts, past memories, he could see his mother very clearly. 
So, in all her gentle loveliness, by the pattern of the rain, by the Peter patter, the sound of the rain, the rain kept on raining, it's the, without any end, the rain kept on raining and his thoughts came one after another uh, without an end. So, he lay down on the bed and starts thinking and in between the memories, the thought of his mother, loving mother also came and all the thoughts were just like the flowers and they were entangled together and forming a garland. It's like, just like forming a garland of thoughts and past memories. So that is the theme of the poem. So you can go through the poem. It's very short and easy. It's all about the, the pleasure, pleasure of lying on the bed during the rainy day as well as when you lie down, a lot of memories come one after another and in between uh, the writer or the poet thinks about uh, his mother also, the memories of his mother also comes and uh, there was no end to that. So he feels very happy. That's why it is said that he, according to the writer, it is said that uh, the rain has got the natural healing power because he feels very happy as if the things were happening now. And he feels very happy to see his mother's face in, her, in his imagination, in his uh, thoughts, past memories, and he could see his mother. And as soon as the rain stops, when it is morning or when the rain stops, all his thoughts and memories vanishes. So, so that's the theme of the poem. So go through the poem as well. I'll provide you question answer and meanings of the next the previous poem, the wind, in the next class. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. Keep on studying at home. Go through the poem as well and go through the video so that you can understand what it is about. So that's all. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you very much.